hey guys welcome again to my channel it's your favorite abuja mommy vlogger deca diary of an abuja mom so if you're new to my channel yes i always have to introduce myself because like you're new so you need to know who i am and the number one dish 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 kind mama of abuja of nigeria of the world and i'm super excited that you're here today if you're already feeling me if you're already here if you've seen my video you're like oh, let me just check out this girl like hope you've already subscribed and hope you click on the bell button to get you notified so whenever i post a new um video you'll be the first to get it i'm going to be doing my makeup i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this beautiful beautiful look and i'll be talking to you guys about random things most especially i'm going to be talking to you guys about the gender of my baby yes finally we know the gender of the baby and i'm going to be sharing it with you guys so i'm also going to be reviewing the isa and dose cosmetics it's a nigerian brand and what i love most about this brand is the fact that they um they think about us that are very dark skin they don't just do makeup because they just want to make money and that's one thing i look out for because most nigerian brands only consider the toned people the glowed people they don't consider us that are still like we don't want to tone or glow we're just how we are how god created us this is not a paid ad so i'm going to give you my honest review about the product so when they reached out to me they were like yeah they wanted to you know send me these things and you know if i like it i should review it i was like yeah i've already used one of their products this is my isa and dose super stay matte, matte foundation it has spf 40 and it's in earth tan i've had this for a very long time right and i really love it if you can see I've, i'm like i've had it so it's not like today something and if you like to see that then keep watching so of course i'm going to be cleaning my face with my more fix wipe guys nobody should laugh at me please don't laugh i look very very funny so if you're looking for like this dish kind of makeup i'm not your girl i'm very very simple i like to do simple but yeah fabulous makeup so this is the first step i do my eyebrow i do my eyes i do my face that is skin work and that's all i did my eyebrow using the the foundation the oil control foundation in honey clean my eyebrow and then i used the highlighter the concealer highlighter i use the one in pure beige so there's this thing they sent to me it's supposed to be eyebrow tattoo which i don't really understand how i'm supposed to use this really like guys guys the shades are something else i love 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 the shades immediately i looked at this eyeshadow palette the shadow that drew me that it be like this come to me come to me like a banjo is this one and maybe blending out with this one or any one but this is the main shade and i also like that i find my contour shade here so i'm going to be using this as contour most of the time right i like that and like every shade i love is here yellow mustard yellow orange like burnt orange every shade every shade i like is here guys like oh yeah let's just let me just okay so i'm going in with i don't i want something i'm going in with mapoon mm, it's reddish which is not that it's bad but this wasn't the plan this wasn't the plan mapoon so my last video or my last two videos i can't remember i talked about um gender predictions from my gender prediction it came out that i was going to have a girl and then a lot of people sent me dms like personal messages saying that they think it's a boy because maybe i don't look pregnant and guys i went out recently and someone told me that i look bigger on camera like her watching me on um youtube she was always thought i was really really big but now that she's seen me real life she's like no i'm not you know so i'm like and those kind of comments make you add weight because you will not be like oh, okay that means i'm not adding so i can just be eating anything i like which is really bad and many people say when they do scan they, they will do scan like 10 times and like you do a scan it to be a girl next thing you not give it to a boy you know 
many people say that and me i've never experienced it because for gina when i did the scan for gina it came out well when i did the scan for ife it came out well my lips are feeling so dried i have to apply something so i'm going in with cream sin on my eye the camera is really showing you well i really love my what my camera is doing so i'm just placing this on my eyelids eyelid the eyelid for gina and ife when i did scan it really came out like whatever i did if he says girl it came out as a girl if he says boy it came out as a boy and i usually do my scan at echo scan please let me know if you've ever done a scan at echo scan and it did not work because i'm surprised this look i wanted it to be simple it is not looking juju-ish i'm just going to be cleaning this up the edges i went back to the my poem and i'm using this to blend the edge i try to use very minimal makeup because i don't want something that it becomes too difficult to blend like i can't even shout I don't want to hear if i want it to blend more i go in with another brush that doesn't have anything on it and i'll just and like a big brush and i'll just use this to now blend gently no use iron hand no iron hand things when we talk about like babies what do you want because i hope you have discussion i'll be like ah, what, what do you want us to have next and you know I mean, i'll be like anyone 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 he used to be like i'm not really particular about like gender again anyone since we have boy and girl i'm not like i want a boy and i want a girl and i want to ask this question truly if you have only girls do you truly or if you have only boys do you truly just say like just be, you're just okay with it leave our african culture or Igbo culture or whatever like on your own without any sentiment do you really just want to have only boys or if it eventually happens are you okay with it or you would really want to have a boy i feel like if i had only girls or only boys i would genuinely want to have another gender like if i had only boys i would have wanted to, a daughter or if i had only girls i would have wanted a son without even the cultural thing when i now got pregnant i was still saying anyone 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 then guys what changed everything for me was like there was a period that every time you open instagram you're always seeing somebody raped a two-year-old somebody raped a baby somebody raped a this somebody raped a six-year-old somebody raped it so like rape 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 and i was like jesus nope 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 i was like ah, i don't want to get again it's not as if boys own is better or really but that really scared me because most of the cases we we're hearing was like boys and um, girls 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 so it was really like ah uh, no so i'm going in with this powder palette can you guys see i'm going in with this shade i think this is my face shade even though it's kind of i don't know but i'm going in with that shade to to with this brush i'm going to just use it to set my set my primer This helps your makeup to last longer, guys. And it also gives you full coverage. For so if you have full, if you like full coverage, this is a great. So I'm going to be mixing their full coverage water-based foundation because I feel like it's too dark. This is like my contour shade. I'm going to be mixing this together. Just a little bit of this, not so much. This is too dark for me. Now I'm looking at it. I don't think it's so dark. I think it's my shade i match my face with my neck and i feel like my lighting is making me look lighter than i actually am so when we went to do this scan hey i was like hmm. my heart was just beating i won't even lie i know how when you're like when you really want to know the sex of your baby i went to the um to my the hospital i'm doing my antenatal and when i told the sonographer i learned that it's actually called sonographer i used to say radiologist so I went to this, I actually asked the sonographer, I was like, I want to know the sex of my baby. And he was just being dramatic. 
he was not like uh, eh, that okay no problem but that if he sees it he will tell me but if he doesn't see it the moment he just made that comment i just knew that he didn't want to tell me it's not a matter of if i see it as in which one is that if i see it after the um scan i was like ah, i have to go to i have to go to echo scan because i want them to tell me the sex of my baby all this time this see they talk not waiting i want here you know and i remember my mom used to tell us then that when you do scan like continuous scan you will have a pass for eye please is that true is it bad to do scan plenty times in your pregnancy i think you're supposed to be like you do like three times i'm not sure but i think that's the amount of times you're supposed to do try your pregnancy like doctor recommended in nigeria or i don't know for abroad let me i'm not talking for a general like this is not a general this thing and guys i won't lie this is the first child that i i waited till like six months plus before i checked the scan for gina and if he like the moment like four months i'm running to echo scan to do my scan let me know too if you're like me like <laughs> so this baby i was not really like rushing and i was surprised at myself because it's really unlike me Oh, we now went to echo scan they were just wasting time forming unnecessary busy being dramatic if you're going to echo scan please don't go with plenty of people because there's no space to sit down <laughs> there's especially the word that's um gariki i don't know about who said so the guy now started checking her ah, mind was beating my heart was beating hey then the guy now said <laughs> should i say it now <laughs> I'm just blending the edges so that it will not look like Hoka and Fanta. You will know where it started from. The guy now said, <laughs> I'm going in with this shade, the 220 shade. Using this to, you know, set my under eye. And I'm going in with this very dark, the darkest shade, the Mocha. I'm going in with this and I'm going to be using this to set everywhere I contoured. When I was doing that, my photo shoot, my contour shade broke. This was like a blessing because hmm, I was like, how? It's so difficult to get a dark shade, guys, really. Those that are really dark understand what I'm saying. It's so difficult to get a dark shade. Like, I use this big fluffy brush to just blend. I always use it to blend. That's like what I used to blend everything together so that there will not be any cook and fan patterns I know you guys want to hear the, the sex don't worry I just want to finish so that I will say it well I'm going to be using my shade which I've already shown you guys I'm going to be using it to contour set my contour because I don't want my contour to look too much which I already feel is looking too much so I'm going in to the orange I'm going into this orange and I'm going to be using that as my blush powdering my whole face using this one I think is my shade I'm going to just you know dip my brush inside you know and this is it to set all those places that in my mind I did not set and I'm going to not be using it to blend everywhere I'm going to remove this thing no, don't worry yourself no worry yourself Okay, so guys, I'm going to be having a girl. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was looking for something that would be dramatic. I wanted to use balloon. I wanted to just be dramatic, but it didn't work. So, yeah. <laughs> We've actually shopped for baby, guys. We bought the ones we can buy because things are so, 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 so expensive right now. Like, if you're pregnant, just know that. <laughs> <laughs> things are like expensive so you know we've done the one we can do when i went to buy my baby things i was so 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 scared because everything i know all the prices i know they're no longer like that i'm like i'm just telling i'm, I'm like i'm complaining 
even the women will be like, okay, how old is your last child? I'll be like, he's four. I'm gonna be like, ha, ah, madam, since four. Even my husband will be laughing at me. I'll be like, no, please, it's too much. The difference is too much. Something I just bought four years ago is like four times the price. Everything is just so expensive, you know. But what are we gonna do? Nothing. I'm going in with my eyeliner and I'm going to be putting this in my waterline. I'm going in with the Zikal Sealed Makeup Fixing Spray, Long Lasting, blah blah blah. I'm going to be using this to set my face and then I'm going to wear my lashes and I'll be back. These lashes, I'm, I don't know, I'm not feeling it, but <laughs> I'm not feeling it really. The lashes is just spoiling my look for me, in my mind. What do you guys think? So for my lips, I'm going in with the All Day Confidence Lip Stain in Goddess. And I'm going to be lining my lips with my random eye. What I use on my eyes? I don't use a lot of, like I don't over put things on my lips because I don't want it to be too loud. If you notice, I love nude lips. Like, so I'm going to be highlighting. I'm going to be using this shade, this one. Let me swatch it first. doesn't look bad I feel like it's not moving which I don't like it's just the way I placed it I'm going to be using this shade to blend it out this one let me do my hair and I'll be right back so guys this is the final look I don't know if this is nice <laughs> this is I put on my hair what do you guys think do you love it do you like it does it fit me guys 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 just notice something my eyes goes with my clothes this shade this shade of my clothes yeah i didn't do it intentionally really <laughs> i wanted to do something reddish but it goes like i love it <laughs> I feel like this night, this one I did here is not called for guys. People know that today is my anniversary, my eight years anniversary. Yay! <laughs> I've been married for eight years, guys. Like, <laughs> so we're awake till like um 12 after 12, and Bobby was like, Happy anniversary, babes. I was feeling so sick this morning, you know. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I beg, just leave me, I beg, please. I'm not even in the mood, you know, but yeah we've been married for eight years and it's not been a rosy way but it's been a doing way like we've put in effort both of us have put in effort in our relationship so the next video i'm going to be doing is um name we're going to be coming up with names for the baby and please i want your own opinion because we're having a hard time choosing name everybody's just bringing gina is just bringing all these cartoon cartoon names she will just be telling me different names um just funny funny names if he is really indifferent anything you tell him right hobby is just giving me all these hot ebotic all these names that are like wicked so please we need your help i'm Ibo. And I'm a Catholic, so any beautiful Catholic name, very unique. Please, I don't want all those Anastasia, Mary, Maria, all those normal names. Mm, please, because I want really unique name. Gina's baptismal name is Alexandra Ginaya. Then Ife is, is Ife Nacho Stefan, right? So, like cute names, you know. So, I want like another cute name for my baby. Please help us, help me out. I'm going to be doing a video for that. So, you can go on Instagram, send me a DM. I'm going to be leaving a a zippo or answer something for you to choose a name for my baby and that's the next video i'm going to be doing hopefully i'm going to be doing a vlog and i'm going to be doing another video yeah so hope you guys are excited with me and i'm super excited you know like since i found out i was a baby girl i became super excited so my predictions worked yeah so sometimes they work <laughs> Ife is more excited because if he wanted a baby girl and he's like he wanted a baby girl because Gina is the best big sis Gina wanted a baby brother because if is the cutest little brother in the world you know that's so dramatic guys if he wants to touch my stomach he wants to kiss baby he talks to baby he will come baby um today I learned how to dance and he'll be dancing like the baby is looking at him <laughs> you know which is super sweet so for the product guys everything here that I use so far they are really really nice especially the eyeshadow um, palette I think this is the best 
thing I experienced in everything I got. I love the um, color payoff. You can see it's really like popping and I'm dark skinned. I'm not light skinned. So imagine how it will pop for someone that is really light skinned. And I love the color um, combination. Like the colors are so popping and I just love the packaging. I love as in gold and this color. And I, this is what actually inspired the look. This stuff is what actually inspired the look so i'm going to come a bit closer so you guys can see so this is what my skin looks like with the makeup it's well blended it blended very well it's melted into my skin i'm not looking patchy i'm not looking too matte i don't look pregnant with this look i don't if you don't know that i'm pregnant you just think i'm just a cool girl you know living in a brand new world oh la <laughs> If you actually see this video and you actually love this product, please go purchase from them. Tell them that Rafa Abuja Mom sent you. And hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to love. That's like, obviously. Don't forget to love. Don't forget to share if you can on your social media platforms. And I love you guys so much for watching. Until my next video. Salute.